evening. Enjoy the show! When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up on a hill and sat down. His followers came to him. He began to teach them, saying, They are blessed who realize their spiritual poverty, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to them. They are blessed who grieve, for God will comfort them. They are blessed who are humble, for the whole earth will be theirs. They are blessed who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they will be satisfied. They are blessed who show mercy to others, for God will bring mercy to them. They are blessed whose thoughts are pure, for they will see God. They are blessed who work for peace, for they shall be called God's children. They are blessed who are persecuted for doing good, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to them. People will insult you and hurt you. They will lie and say all kinds of evil things about you just because you follow me. But when they do, you will be blessed. Rejoice and be glad because you have a great reward waiting. It's waiting for you in heaven. People did the same evil things to the prophets who lived before you. You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its salty taste, it cannot be made salty again. It is good for nothing except to be thrown out and walked on. You are the light that gives the light to the world. A city that is built on a hill cannot be hidden. And people don't hide a light under a bowl. They put it on a lampstand so the light shines for the people in the house. In the same way, you should be a light for other people. Live so that they will see the good things you do and will praise your Father in heaven. Don't think I have come to destroy the law of Moses or the teaching of the prophets. I have not come to destroy them, but to bring about what they said. I tell you the truth, nothing will disappear from the law until heaven and earth are gone. Not even the smallest letter or the smallest part of the letter will be lost until everything has happened. Whoever refuses to obey any command and teaches other people not to obey that command, they will be the least important in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys the command and teaches other people to obey them will be great in the kingdom of heaven. I tell you, that if you are no more obedient than the teachers of the law and the Pharisees, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard it said to our people long ago, you must not murder anyone. Anyone who murders another will be judged. But I tell you, if you are angry with your brother or sister, you will be judged. If you say bad things to a brother or sister, you will be judged by the council. And if you call someone a fool, you will be in danger of fire of hell. So when you offer your gift to God at the altar, and you remember that your brother or sister has something against you, leave your gift there at the altar. Go, make peace with that person and then come offer your gift. If your enemy is taking you to court, become friends quickly before you go to court. Otherwise, your enemy might turn you over to the judge and the judge might give you a guard to put you in jail. I tell you the truth, you will not leave there until you have paid everything you owe. You have heard it said, you must not be guilty of adultery. But I tell you, if anyone looks at a woman inappropriately, in his mind he has already sinned with that woman. If your eye causes you to sin, take it out and throw it away. It is better to lose one part of the body than to have your whole body thrown in hell. If your right hand causes you to sin, Cut it off and throw it away. It is better to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to go to hell. 
It was also said anyone who divorces his wife must give her a written divorce paper. But I tell you, anyone who divorces his wife forces her to be guilty of adultery. The only reason for a man to divorce a wife is if she has had relations with another man. And anyone who marries that divorced woman is guilty of adultery. You have heard that it was said to our people long ago, don't break your promises, but keep the promises you make to the Lord. But I tell you, never swear an oath. Don't swear an oath using the name of heaven because heaven is God's home. Don't swear an oath using the name of earth because the earth belongs to God. Don't swear an oath using the name of Jerusalem because that is the city of the great king. Don't swear by your own head because you cannot make one hair on your head become white or black. Say only yes if you mean yes and no if you mean no. If you say more than yes or no, it is from the evil one. You have heard it said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I tell you, don't stand up against an evil person. If someone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to him the other cheek also. If someone wants to see you in court and take your shirt, let him have your coat also. If someone forces you to go with him one mile, go with him too. If a person asks you for something, give it to him. Don't refuse to give someone who wants to borrow from you. You have heard that it was said, Love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies. Pray for those who hurt you. If you do this, you will be true children of your Father in heaven. He causes the sun to rise on good people and on evil people. He sends rain to those who do right and to those who do wrong. If you love only the people who love you, you will not get a reward. Even the tax collectors do that. But if you are nice only to your friends, you are no better than other people. Even those who don't know God are nice to their friends. So you must be perfect, just like your Father in heaven is perfect. The Bible says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. I know I've sinned, everyone has, but the good news is Jesus died on the cross for our sins so we can spend eternity in heaven with God. Thank you, Jesus. Would you like to ask Jesus in your heart? Pray this prayer with me. God, I know I've sinned. I'm sorry. Please forgive my sins. Come into my heart. Make my heart new. I love you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for watching the show. If you have a pet you want to see on a special episode of Read the Bible with me, have your parent or guardian email me a picture at the email address below. They should include your pet's name, a picture of your pet, and a Bible verse you would like him to read. If you would like your name and age included, please mention that in the email as well. Each time we have 10 pet entries, we will make a special episode. If you loved this episode, like our channel, subscribe, and ring the bell. See you next time.